in that hospital lies Michael Myers. We are now on our way to Haddonfield County Hospital. I don't have a good feeling about this one. Greetings, and welcome once again to Creep Eagle Vision. I am Creepy Ghoul, your host. Thanks for tuning in once again. So I've got a couple of haul videos coming up. Uh, this is one of them. So I visited uh, Halloween City and Party City. Same shit, different pile, two different stores, one right across from each other. Um, got a little mini haul here to show you guys. Um, but before we do, again, I'd like to bring you guys some good Halloween fortune from a really bad cookie. Really stale cookie. Okay, so. Again, I'm not going to eat that. If you remembered uh, one of my previous videos, what happened. But the fortune should still be good. It says. A job well begun is half done. There you go. There's your Halloween fortune right there. And your lucky numbers. Okay, so let's get to it. So, first of all, uh, from... Um, Party City. Let's do Party City first. So... Party City, uh, this year I got, uh, the Vampire Bat, uh, projector. Indoor, outdoor use. I'll probably hook this up outside for trick-or-treating this year and, uh, all year round inside. I'll probably use my, uh, curtain here as the, uh, screen. The Vampire Bats with the, uh, flickering effect. flicker effect. There we go. This was about 25 bucks at Party City. And it comes with uh, two little projectors. Um, you can mount in the grass or it comes with, a, I think, a little stand, they said. Yeah, for indoor use as well. So yeah, I'll have some fun with that. It's got, uh, I saw a demo of it at the store, it's got a really nice uh, old-school Bella Lugosi uh, feel to it, it's really nice. The bats are really cool. Okay, so again from uh, Party City, I got a couple of these beware signs, these metal beware signs that you would just stick in the ground. Uh, I have this thing with Beware, uh, it comes from the Misfits uh, EP, Beware, but it's got to look really good though. This looks really cool. Check these out. Beware. Metal. And they come with little points like that you just stick in the ground type of thing. Really cool. Only a couple bucks. Uh, I went again and they were all sold out. Not that I was going to get any more, but yeah. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that was really it uh, for Party City. Now, um, Halloween City is a different story. Um, so here's my Halloween City haul. So let's check it out. First up, I've got this really cool coffin... Uh, candy tray it can be used for anything really um, what really um, attracted me to this number one it's a coffin it's a black coffin number two the bats yes and number three it's a really hard plastic really cool uh, tray very heavy too and I really like that it's gonna last me a long time so there we go and it was decently priced as well. There we go. All right. 
So the next thing um, I'd like to show is a couple vinyl pops. Um, first one being Wednesday Adams. Wednesday Adams from the Adam, the original Adams family. I saw the previews for the new movie, and honestly, for me, it had no feeling. I just wasn't impressed. Um, new school shit. Uh, it looked very, I don't know, Disney-ish. And, um, yeah, not interested. Old school or no school. There she is. Cute little Wednesday Adams from the Adams family, the original Adams family. Okay, so next vinyl pop I got was Morticia Adams. Original Morticia Adams. Uh, the original goth babe. There you go, Morticia. And there's the other ones you can collect. Um, I'm not a completist, I only get what I like, and uh, Morticia and uh, Wednesday were the ones I really liked. There we go, there she is right there, sorry about the glare. Cute little figure. I love vinyl pops, they're really cool, I have a really nice collection of them. Okay, and the next vinyl pop I got was uh, an extreme vinyl pop, a deluxe, deluxe one, and I had to have this one. Look at that, eh? Jaws. Isn't that freaking sick? And he's got the uh, canopy in his mouth as well. They have the one without the canopy, but uh, I really like the one with the canopy. Actual scene from the movie itself. Again, sorry about the glare. And it had the other uh, characters as well, like the captain and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I was just interested in the fish. Hey, you want to buy a fish? Check him out. Jaws. That's a nice one. Okay, so moving right along, I got a couple more things here. Um, I got something I've always wanted. Um, there was a few different ones there. Uh, this one in particular is from Halloween 2, which is one of my favorites in the franchise. Love 1, 2, 4, and 5. Uh, those were all my favorites. Uh, three's, three's cool, and the rest are cool, but... Uh, really 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 liked part two and uh i know it's not real hair they had the ones with the real hair for something like 70 80 bucks but i was just really attracted to this one right here i just resonated with it took me back to when i first saw the movies i'll probably never wear it it's just uh for display purposes and this is the trick-or-treat studios uh halloween 2 michael myers mask Really nice mask. Halloween 2. Okay, so last but not least, uh, me and uh, a friend of mine really cleaned up and uh, they didn't even get any more of these in. Uh, these are the new series of uh, blind boxes, uh, Universal Monsters. So Creature, Frankenstein, Wolfman, Bride, Phantom, you guys know the deal. Um, so I ended up getting like uh, about, I think, four of them for myself. My friend picked up a bunch too. And I figured there was only a few left, so just let me just take the whole box, the whole case, whatever was left. So I ended up getting two, four, six, seven, um, which uh, I'll open a few right now so we can uh, see what's going on. It's a cool box too. I think I'm going to keep it as a for collection purposes. Uh, shipping cases are always cool boxes. 
Okay, so let's, uh, I'm just going to open a random one. I'm really hoping to get uh, my favorite, which is the creature from the Black Lagoon. Wow, that's tough plastic there. Okay, so let's uh, pop open a couple of these and um, see what we've got here. Okay, so let me show you the box. So that's the front of the box. The new uh, series of Universal Monsters. I have the old series um, and they're really, really cool. These are also cool as well. My friend opened hers and she got some really nice ones, uh, all the ones I wanted actually, but there you go. I'm really hoping for the uh, creature, um, the Dracula, the bride, um, yeah, there's a few exclusives as well. So let's see which one this is. Okay, love blind boxes. Okay, so, there we go. Okay, who's it gonna be? Ah, the Invisible Man. I was him in this very costume, actually, one year for Halloween. Look at that, that's a beautiful little figure right there. I'm gonna go on my uh, coffin trinket shelf for sure. Uh, let's see, so this Invisible Man is one in 24. One in 24. Okay, so let's see. Let's pop open another random one. I should just open them all. In fact, I might do that. Oh, that one was easy to open. Okay, so let's see. Sometimes you can tell who it is by just feeling them. But I don't have time for that. I just want to rip them right open. Ah! Oh! Sweet! Bella Lugosi's dead. Dracula. Look at that. Very nice, very nice. With the candle and all. Cool little figure. Alright, that was one of the ones I wanted. Right on. Okay, so let's uh, quickly... <laughs> pop open the rest of them. Why the, why the fuck not? <laughs> Let's just do it. I'm very enthusiastic. Alright. Let's see. Ah, the Wolfman. The Wolfman. I believe Lon Chaney Jr. All right, so the Wolfman. Okay, so we've got like four more here, so let's just rip them open. We'll worry about the mess on the carpet later. This is an extreme unboxing video brought to you by Creepy Ghoul on Creepy Ghoul Vision. Thank you for tuning in once again. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Give me a couple thumbs up and Hit that bell, notifications, you know the deal. The mummy, the mummy's hand. Look at that, the mummy. Okay, so moving right along, I just got three more here. Uh, some of these boxes are almost too easy to open. Okay, so let's just see. Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Another Wolfman! Damn! I hate getting doubles. Maybe I can uh, trade my friend for one of hers. Can't remember if she got the Wolfman or not. Another Wolfman. Okay. I got two more boxes. No doubles. No doubles. No doubles. No doubles. Come on, give me that creature. I want that creature. Or the bride. Oh! Frankenstein. Boris Karloff.
Frankenstein. I know somebody who's going to want that probably. Okay, so I got one more. Oh, come on, give me that creature. Give me that creature. Oh. Give me that creature. So I'm gonna feel around here. I'm gonna feel around. Uh, I have no clue. Let's just rip them open. Oh, come on! Oh, wait a minute. This is the variant of the Dracula, Bela Lugosi. I like this one a lot. Oh yeah, the first one he's got the uh, candle, and this is just the classic Bela Lugosi pose right here. Awesome. Okay, so I didn't get the creature, I didn't get the bride. Maybe we'll do some trades, who knows. But, uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. So guys, that was my um, Halloween haul from um, uh, Party City and Halloween City. Uh, that's it, uh, empty box. And hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Give me a couple of these right here. And uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning into Creepy Ghoul Vision. We'll see you in the next video. I'm frozen. <laughs>